Praise the Lord. God bless you and welcome in again to Freedom Gospel Church. We're at the 7 a.m. prayer service and we invite you to Nee City with Jesus is Lord. The song playing right now is Lord Make Me Over Again. If anybody in the place, whether you're in your kitchen and your bedroom, you want God to make you over, maybe you are in a hospital bed and you need some extra care. I want you just to lift up your hands and just wherever you are in the world, just say, Lord, make me over. It's me. It's me. And then I want you to come with us into Nee City here at Freedom Gospel Church where Jesus is Lord. My Bible tells me in Matthew 6, verses 9 through 13, these words. After this manner, therefore, pray ye. Our Father, our Father. Who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. I don't know where you've been in your life, but we are here to serve the Lord. We're on duty when they think we're asleep. But there is one chief shepherd that never sleeps nor slumbers. His name is Jesus and we, we're with him. <laughs> we're with him. All the way every day. We're with him. So Lord Jesus make us over again. Jesus turned to his disciples and said these words from Matthew 9 and 37 and 38 and Luke 10 and 2. The harvest truly is plentiful, but the laborers are few. So we're praying, therefore, to the Lord of the harvest to send out laborers into his harvest today. I ask for the release of the Holy Spirit ministry to fill the temple. I stand on Luke chapter 11 verse 13. If then, ha, being evil, know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more will your heavenly Father give the Holy Spirit to those who ask him? So I'm calling on the high priest of us all, Jesus. I come to you, Holy Father, To keep us by your name. Jesus prayed this. To keep the saints in the father's name. I don't know what you're doing. But we're coming. We're coming today. So I come to you holy father. Keep through your name those whom you have given me. 
that they may be one as we are. I'm standing on the word today. Jesus goes on to pray in John 17 and 15. I do not pray that you should take them out of the world, but that you should give them from the evil, keep them from the evil one. So Lord, sanctify them by your truth. Your word is the truth. We stand in on the word. We stand in on the word. Anointing, fall fresh, not just on me, but on them. We want them to have the fullness of God. We want them to be running over with the joy of the Lord. So I pray today that they all may be one as you, Father, are in me and I in you. That they also may be one in us, Shaba. That the world may believe that you sent me. The glory which you gave me, I have given them. That they may be one just as we are one. I in them and you in me. That they may be made perfect in one. I'm praying, Shaba. And that the world may know that you have sent me. And have loved them as you have loved me. Father, I desire that they also whom you gave me may be with me where I am. That they may behold my glory which you have given me. For you love me before the foundation of the world. O oh, righteous Father. The world has not known you, but I have known you. And these have known you sent me and I've declared to them your name. And I will declare it that the love with which you love me may be in them. We stand on John 17 and don't back down. From verses 21 to 26, we stand on the word. We stand on the word, the unadulterated word. So I come with the missionary prayer today. A is for the anointing of Jesus. Let it fall fresh in here. Too many backslidden folk, too many broken folk, too many forgetting the anointing on their life. So I pray for missionaries around the world will get fresh anointing today by the power of the Holy Ghost to do the work that he's called all of us to do. I'm coming some kind of way today. A is for the anointing of Jesus. I stand on Luke chapter 4 verse 18 and 19. The spirit of the Lord is upon me because he has anointed me to proclaim the good news to the poor. He has sent me to proclaim liberty to the captives and the recovering of sight to the blind. To set at liberty those who are oppressed to proclaim the year of the Lord's favor. I'm coming. In the name of the Lord. B is for balance. The church needs to be the church. If you blessed and you know it. Be in position. Don't be missing in action. As a missionary. As a lay member. As the pastor. As the associate pastor. As the evangelist. As the teacher. Don't be late. The ministry is unending. There's always one more person that we need to introduce them to our best friend Jesus. There's always another Bible study for you to lead. There's always somebody that has a need that maybe you can meet. We're standing today on Ephesians 5, 15, and 16. Look, church, look carefully. Then on how you walk, not as unwise, but as wise, making the best use of time. 
because of the days of evil. I'm going somewhere. Today we are praying the sea for the children of the world need hope. So we pray for children hungry, hungry for the word of God, hungry for a nutritious meal, hungry for deliverance. We pray for their salvation and their growth in Christ. We pray for our children and our grandchildren. We believe your God for our great grandchildren and our great great grandchildren. We pray that some child will answer the call to God and be a part of the right now ministry. Children, God needs you. Young people, God needs you. While you're doing all that you're doing, while you're getting all that you can get. Remember Matthew 22, 37 and 39. And he said to him, you shall love the Lord, your God, with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind. This is the first and Great and first, this is the great and first commandment, and the second is like unto it. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. Come back, children. Come on to Jesus. There's room for you. We keep on praying. We pray the D. And not the D that some of y'all thinking about. We pray for the discernment. There are so many decisions that need to be made before Jesus comes back. And I'm listening to God's voice and knowing what he wants to do. I need to be effective. You need to be effective in ministry. Oh, get you some on-the-job training at the right place. At the foot of Jesus at Me City. I pray today, Romans 12 and 2, do not be conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that by testing you may discern what is the will of God, what is good and acceptable and perfect. I pray today, God, I pray the E for encouragement. Somebody needs to know that this is holy ground. On this Cinco de Mayo, somebody needs to know God. You are El Señor. It's time that that which is supposed to be bearing fruit bears fruit. So we pray for the harvest. For I'm seeing so little fruit. And it can be discouraging. Fellow pastors. Bishops it can be discouraging. We're serving the God of wonder. And they know more about the worldly stuff than they know about the godly stuff. And it ain't like we ain't teaching good. Pray that they get encouraged in their own tent doors. In their apartment. In their bedroom. In the kitchen. In the dining room. In the driveways. In in the offices. Remind them they're holy. And God is working it out in high places. And that they, they too have been called to do kingdom work. And so I stand and I pray Psalms 29 and 11. May the Lord give strength to his people. May the Lord bless his people with peace. 
We pray the F and not the F some of y'all be using. F is for the finances of the church. For it is missionary time. It's evangelism time. It is work time for Jesus. And we need some folk that start giving in Jesus' name. Father, keep us faithful to trust you for all our finances, from the pulpit to the door. Pray God to meet every one of our needs according to your riches and glory. I stand on Philippians 4.19 and my God will supply every need of yours according to his riches in glory in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah, I'm leaning on the G, which is grace. We need the depth of your grace. God soaks come by here. We call it on grace. Can mercy, you've been propping one side, but we need more grace so that we can give grace to others that are also going through. We stand on Hebrews 4, 16. Let us then with confidence draw near to the throne of grace that we, you and me, they and them may receive mercy. And find grace to help in the time of need. Lord, Lord, I know it's hard out here. But we're calling on the name of Jesus. Father, it's so hard down here. But we're calling on the name of Jesus. Lord, I'm leaning on the H. Because <laughs> we need new health. So many need health care plans. But there's not a plan like blessed assurance. So I pray for the health of every leader, deacon and deaconess, missionary, evangelist, teacher, exhorter. I pray. There's so many different challenges to our health. So, Lord, touch our lungs and our airways. Lord, cover our food as we eat it and have mercy on us. Lord, I come against chronic diseases like lupus, diabetes, seizure disorders. I come against it, God, in the name of Yeshua. I come against mental illness and emotional upheaves. I come against autism and dementia. I pray, God, that you keep us standing in the difficult. Restore our health to keep going forward. If it be the holy will, we speak it right now so health come back to us come back come back I come against irritable bowel syndrome I come against systemic lupus I, I come against multiple sclerosis I come against it in the name of Yeshua I come against it we stand on the word of Third John 1 and 2. Beloved, I pray today that all may go well with you and that you may be in good health as it goes well with your soul. Lord Jesus, we pray today the I 
for Freedom Gospel Church is an intercultural church. So we pray God as servants around the globe. Sometimes they don't understand why we do what we do. But we trust you. We have faith. Whatever I lack, God, you don't lack nothing. Whatever I need, God, you don't take away anything from this table. Holy and everlasting God, you're my hiding place. I'm so grateful, God, in the in-between where I thought I was hitting 911. Instead, I hit my knees down 111. Jesus, hold the main line. We're standing on 1 Corinthians 9, 22 and 23. I become all things to all men. That by all means I might save some. I do it all for the sake of the gospel. That I may share joy with them. In its blessings. So Lord we pray the J today. Because the joy that I have the world didn't give it to me. And the world can't take it away. I had to lay my pains of my flesh to the side to get to the altar today. Because it's easy to lose your joy when you're working so hard for so little return. Listen here, there, and everywhere. Pastors around the globe, I am with thee. You are not alone. Get closer to our burden bearer. We will call to this thing. Don't let joy slip away now. Pray every day that you as a leader of the church will have supernatural joy. It's a lonely Bishops, you are not alone. Fellow pastors, you are not alone. Exhorters, you are not alone. I stand and pray. Romans 15 and 13. May the God of hope fill you. When the pews are full, when the people won't follow when the sheep seem disobedient and cray cray stand with me with Romans 15 and 13 may the God of hope fill you with all joy <laughs> all joy and peace in believing so that by the power of the Holy Spirit, you may abound in hope. It ain't that we ain't teaching good. Some people just have a different agenda. So we pray K is for knowledge. Lord, get them equipped, get them equipped, get them equipped. I pray that every missionary evangelist will get knowledge from the Lord to carry out his plan. I stand on Psalms, the 119th division, the 66th verse. It's lonely. Everybody wants a title, but nobody wants to clean the toilet. But pastors, we in this together all the way. Lord, teach us good judgment and knowledge. For I believe in your commandments. L is for the language. 
Here the botare zor na ti zisara bo pumba. He started it at home. God, I have mercy upon folk that go back with them twisted, and the world is confusing them. And there's wars and rumors of wars. We come against principalities and things of the air. We call them out in every language and every tongue to learn the heart of God. Is found in Matthew 28, 19, and 20. This is the assignment. Go therefore and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all that I've commanded you. And behold, I'm with you always to the end of the age. Church! Pray, church, pray. There's room in the city for everybody. So, Lord, I pray the M for miracles. Let miracles break out around the globe. Not just those in recliners with backaches. Not just those in hospital beds that are given diagnosis that they can't even quite comprehend. I'm talking about come by here, Jesus. It's time for miracle business. We need some folk to get equipped so that miracles can break out in the land. Because we stand on Jeremiah 32 and 27. Behold, I am the Lord, the God of all flesh. Is anything too hard for me? Jesus, we're praying this morning. We're praying. We're praying. We're trusting. We're believing. We're rocking to and fro. We're, we're asking your God to work it out in high places. We're asking your Lord to have mercy upon the lost. We're asking your Lord to do oh, only you can do. I have Oh, I'm, I'm at the end in my prayer list, Jesus. I, I have some needs, and they got some needs. Lord, you are the need supplier, so here we are at me City. We pray, God, that you will supply all the spiritual, emotional, physical, and financial needs that we are standing in need of today on Cinco de Mayo. We stand on Philippians 4.19 and my God will supply every need according to his riches and glory in Christ Jesus. Father God, I come today. I see the angels gathered around about. Jesus, sweet Jesus. I stand on the O for somebody needs an opportunity just to Get their foot in the door. Open the window, God. Throw open the door. That some man might get that job. Some woman might get that elevation. We pray it in the strong, powerful name of Jesus. For as they step into the next level, let them carry the word of God on their lips. May they take the opportunities in global ministry that includes their jobs, their homes, their communities. We stand on 2 Timothy 4 and 2 to preach the gospel and to be ready in season and out of season. P, we come God for protection because the battle is real. It's a spiritual battle when we're on the front lines. So we're praying for supernatural protection over our entire Freedom Gospel Church family and our extended families around the globe. We come, God, not because there's anything good in us, but Lord, Lord, God, you've been faithful. Help us, Lord Jesus. Help us. In the difficult places. Help us Lord. Jesus thank you for being so faithful. We pray 2 Thessalonians 3 and 3. But the Lord is faithful. He will establish you and guard you against the evil one. 
Breathe on us, God. Breathe on us. Feliz Cinco de Mayo, we ask you, God, for the queue is just some quiet space somewhere. Maybe it's in our bedroom. Maybe it's in the bathroom, but we just need some quiet time to bathe in your spiritual spa. We need refreshing and renewal. We need to be disciplined, so take us, oh God, to that quiet place. I just need more Jesus time. I just need the breath of God. To breathe on us. David said this in the first division of Psalms verses 1 and 2. Blessed is the man who walks not in the counsel of the wicked. Nor stands in the way of sinners. Nor sits in the seat of scoffers. But his delight is in the law of the Lord. And on his law, he meditates day and night. So after the quiet time with you, God, just give us some rest on this Lord's Day. Give us some rest. The R is for the rest because it's easy to be busy and it's hard to rest. So we pray that there will be times of rest so that we can be refreshed for your service. Jesus, it's hard down here. But I'm so glad the Gospel of Mark penned it this way. This is what we have to do. And he said to them, come away by yourselves to a desolate place and just rest a while. Truth be told, for many were coming and going and they had no leisure even to eat. So Jesus, we come. We love you, God. We love you more than anything. But it's been hard. Father, even healthy people that are pastoring find pastoring difficult. When you have a few health challenges and are pastoring the church. We're still in global prayer time. We pray the S is for the strength of God. So Lord, I lift my body, my hands, my heart that's been broken over and over again. I lift my mind, God, that you would restore my mind. Make me more like you. I lift my spirit and my continence. Because some days it's so weary. And daily tasks can be difficult and challenging. But I thank you, God, that you are my strength. Jesus, thank you for being the S of our prayer. Lord, I come.
not a superwoman, but I come humbly simply saying I'm saved by your grace. I come as a woman of God praying for strength. I come as a pastor serving you, Lord, praying for strength. Come as a mother praying for strength. I come as a sister praying for strength. I come as an auntie, a tea, praying for strength. I come as a grandmother, praying for strength. So I lift up Isaiah chapter 40, verse 31. But those who hope in the Lord, will renew their strength. They will soar on the wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not think. The S is for strength. God, you made a promise to give me strength. So give us strength, God. I stand like David on Psalms 73 and 26. My flesh and my heart may fail. But God is the strength of my heart and my portion forever. We come, God, for your strength. We at knee city saying, God, restore, lift up, encourage, flip the script. Lord, we pray the T. T is for all the temptations pulling and tugging at us. We pray for strength right now in the mighty name of Jesus. We ask your Lord to forgive us for anything that we've done by thought, word, and deed against thy divine majesty. T is for the temptations that's been pulling at us, ripping at us. Remind us of 1 Corinthians 10 and 13. No temptation has overtaken you. That is not common to man. God is faithful. And he will not let you be tempted beyond your ability. But with the temptation, he will also provide the way of escape that you may be able to endure it. Help us to endure it all, God. Help us. Help us to endure it. Help us, oh God. You are our escape route. Glory to God. We love you, Jesus. We love you, God, because you first loved us. We stand on Matthew 6.33. But seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And all these other things will be added unto you. I come with the you at the altar. Yeah, you, you, and you. I come for the urgency. That you might share the news of our Lord and Savior Jesus the Christ. Won't you get in line? I know you love running to the emergency room of the altar of God when everything ain't going right. But won't you just run with urgency to God to get equipped to do the mission? I need you, Jesus. We need you, Jesus. I, I need, I need, I need you, Jesus. Time is winding up.
some don't know how late it already is. We teach in 1 Thessalonians, some come and some ain't. 1 Thessalonians 5 and 2, for you yourself are fully aware that the day of the Lord will come like a thief in the night. So why are they not in Bible study, Jesus? Drag them, Holy Ghost, to Bible study around the world. You cannot fight a spiritual war and you don't know what's in the game plan of the holiest book of all time. Father, call them out to get equipped. Oh, they can shout. But can they rightly divide the word of truth? So I pray with urgency. I ask your Lord to help us with our visas. I'm not talking about credit cards of this world. I'm talking about visas. So I pray God that you will provide whatever's needed. For the mission is not impossible. I pray for visas right now. Somebody ought to be praying for this old pastor. Cause Lord knows, Lord knows. I want to throw in the towel, but I can't. Because there is a Savior that's higher than me. Lord, I'm looking for your endorsement. I'm looking for your spiritual visa. I want to be the holder of the visa that says I can step from this life into glory. I'm praying for the visa to be able to leave this old raggedy earth and to be able to stay in a kingdom not made by human hands. So I'm praying for my tourist past. As I'm Helping develop preachers and teachers all around the world, Lord, and preachers. I ask you, God, have a mercy. Endorse this preacher with your passport. That I can pass from death into your marvelous life. Bless us with your visa, God. I want you, Jesus, to stamp this prayer and say, I approve this message. Holy Ghost, help me. I'm trying to balance a checkbook and folk haven't even made deposits in a long time. I'm at Nee City. Praying God for your visa endorsement. Because I'm Absolutely sure. I'm not broke. I'm blessed. And if I'm not truly broke, God, then you, oh God, restore everything we need. Deliver on time. Let us stand on Philippians 4 and 6. Do not be anxious about anything, but in everything by prayer. And supplication with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. We worship a Lord that never leaves us nor forsakes us. W is for the war we in. For the spiritual warfare is real and we have an enemy who seeks to stop the mission. He wants to discourage us from spreading the gospel message. So I need some folk just to pray for victory. I pray for victory. Because Ephesians 6, 12 and 13 ain't never lied. For we do not wrestle against flesh and blood. But against the rulers, against authorities, against cosmic powers over this present darkness against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly places. Therefore, take up the whole armor of God 
that you may be able to withstand in the evil day, having done all to stand firm. We're standing and kneeling and praying and crying and weeping. El Shaddai, Elroy, Jehovah Jireh, Jehovah Sikkanu, Jehovah Nisi, Jesus, sweet Jesus. X is for the excellence we must exude as servants, ambassadors for the Lord Jesus Christ. We stand on Colossians 3 and 23. Whatever you do, work heartily as for the Lord. And not for men. Lord make us excellent. Not mediocre. Not so so. Remind us. After the E. The X represents the cross. The only way we can be excellent. Is we keep Christ first. Why? <laughs> Because he loves us. We pray the why. That we might yield to the Lord. Because until folk yield to God. And his will. It's difficult. For them to be teachable. We stand on Galatians 5 and 16. But I say walk by the spirit. And you will not gratify the desires of the flesh. Lord, thank you for being our living water. When my storage is empty, you are my living water. When I can't take one more thing. You are the lifter of my head. So I pray the Z. That I never lose the zeal of the Lord. And my love of God. I'm excited to be a bond servant. Of the Lord Jesus Christ. So, Lord, keep reminding me when people that belong to you remind me again of Romans 12, 10, and 11 to love one another with brotherly affection outdo one another in showing honor do not be slowful in zeal be fervent in spirit and serve the Lord so I pray right now for Lebanon I pray for Egypt I pray for the United States I pray for Central Asia I pray for the Middle East I pray for West Africa I pray for Alaska I pray for North Carolina I pray for Detroit I pray for New Jersey I pray for Atlantic City I pray for the Middle East I pray for DC and Philadelphia I pray right now for Texas I pray for the Middle East I pray right now for Uganda I pray for the Amazon I pray God God, in the mighty name of Jesus for the United Kingdom, I pray, God, I pray, I pray, I pray right now, God, from Alabama to Mozambique, I pray, God, for San Antonio, for Houston. For 
Edgewood for Aberdeen. For Abingdon. For Baltimore. We pray. Let a spiritual outbreak hit the land. This has been a prayer lifted. Lord, bless and keep those around the globe. Sanctify us with your holy spiritual oil. In the name of Jesus, sanctify us for your service. Lord, we thank you for the cross. And that the cross is empty because you bore all of our sins. And we're washed clean by your precious blood. So through this holy anointing prayer. Jesus. May your love and mercy. Help us. To push our way. By your grace. Being led by your Holy Spirit. And Lord free us. Here at Freedom Gospel Church. Forgive us all sin that is past. Continually keep us by your salvation. And raise us up to your standard of holiness. In Jesus name we pray. Amen. Coming up next is the 8 o'clock prayer by Pastor Angel.